It takes the most demonic and evil force to be able to sit there and take a baby and just stomp on his head. To take a pregnant woman, cut her stomach open, the baby fall out and stomp on his head. Bring it out. Or you take a baby, grab him by the foot, and bash their head up against the stone. It takes a fierce, soulless animal to do something like that. If I asked you what your nationality was, what would you say? Mexican? Mexican? All praises. So do you understand that the Mexicans actually are the children of Israel as well? You're part of the 12 tribes. Where do you see yourself? Get your brother a flyer. Here you go. On the back of your flyer is a list of the 12 tribes, right? Uh -huh. If you open it up, well, you see Mexicans. Mexicans. What, do, what do they call it? Uh, uh, Issachar. Issachar, right? Issachar. 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 Issachar, that means you're part of the 12 tribes of Israel. Uh -huh. But our people don't know that. And the question is, how do we know? What's your name, brother? Jose. Jose. Yes. My name is Yuanita. Okay. We're yes. here representing Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. Do you know Christ is black? I, I, I don't uh, know, sir. No, sir? I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, Give him black, white. If he's any color, uh -huh. and say for example, Jesus Christ actually is the color that's depicted. Like what color do they, What? who do they say Jesus Christ is now? <laughs> they paint him as a white man. Yes, sir. How has your people benefited from having a white Jesus Christ? <laughs> right? Yeah. But is that white image of Jesus Christ the truth? Uh, well, we make images of him, you know, the Bible says no images. You're supposed to not uh, make images of him? Or, or Let's yeah. get the understanding on that because a lot of people bring that out as well. They say, don't make images. Uh -huh. We had images in, in Solomon's temple we read about, yeah. right? Let's get the understanding on why we don't make images. Then I'm going to show you yeah. the true image of Jesus Christ. Yes, bring right? it up. Let's get there. Exodus 20. <laughs> Book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 4. Go ahead. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. So that's what, that's what you just said, right, Jose? Yes, and our people stand on that and say, well... We don't have to worry about what color Jesus Christ is because we're not supposed to worship any images anyway. The question is, well, why do our people then, then um, conform to the image of white Jesus? Why don't they ever question that image? But when we try to bring the true image of Jesus Christ out, then all of a sudden this image doesn't matter. You understand? Uh -huh. Just like that cross around your neck. Yes, sir. That cross symbolizes what? Christianity, right? Well, I'm Catholic. You're Catholic, right? Yes, that's, a, that's a branch of Christianity. Uh, okay. One of the main branches, right? Yes. Do you understand that that cross is a is a symbol of oppression used on your people? Yes, sir. Like some some people might take it in a in a bad way. Like uh, I'm showing that how he's crucified, or uh, right. it's not a pretty picture. Uh, you know, like. Well, let's show you how we deal with these images. Go ahead. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. So we're not supposed to make any graven images, no. right? Read. No. Or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above, mm -hmm. or that is in the earth beneath. Or anything, any likeness of the things in the heaven above or in the earth beneath. How you doing, brother? Let me ask you a question. What's your nationality, bro? All right, go ahead and read. Or that is in the water under the earth. So it's telling you, don't make any images of, of anything that crawls on the land. That's in your lions, tigers, bears, all the things in the, on the earth. I mean, that, that, that swims in the sea, right? Your fishes, right? So he says, don't do that. But what is the purpose of that? Read on. Thou shalt not bow down you, thyself unto them. You shall not do what? Bow down thyself unto them. So it's not that we can't have images. How you doing today, brother? It's not that we can't have images. It says, do not bow down to those images. Because when you read our foreparents, they had images in the temple, the holy temple. We had images of lions. We had images of cherubims and things of that nature, right? So, in regards to the images now, is the image of Jesus Christ, so you understand that? Yes. So, is making an image wrong? For uh, example, we have this image here of um, a depiction of how we, how the Bible says Jesus Christ. Look, this is not the actual uh -huh. Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Right? So, is, is us making this image wrong? No. Okay. Let, me, what the Bible says, you know, let me show you something. Let me show you who the true witnesses of God is and that God is not just who anybody, me. who you, anybody think me. he is. Read. Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 10. Go ahead. Ye are my witnesses. He says, ye are my witnesses. Read on. Saith the Lord, and my servants whom I have chosen. And the most high God's servants who he has chosen. So there's only one set of people that has witnessed the most high God. Uh -huh. There is only one God. There's no other gods out there. Yes, and so who are the most high servants? Get in Leviticus 26 or 25. And then we're going to deal with the image of Jesus Christ and show you how we know that the Mexicans are the true Israelites according to the Bible. It's based off of Bible prophecy. Read. 
25, the last verse. Leviticus chapter 25 and verse 55. Go ahead. For unto me, the children of Israel are servants. It says the children of Israel are servants. Read. They are my servants. Says, they are my servants. The Most High God has a set of servants. It says the children of Israel are his servants. Read. Whom I have brought forth out of the land of Egypt. So he's talking about the people that he brought forth out of the land of Egypt. Now go back to Isaiah 43. So we understand now who is the Most High God's servants? The children of Israel, right? Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 10. Go ahead. Ye are my servants. Mm -mm. Read it right. Ye are my witnesses. It says, ye are my witnesses. We're the only ones that witness the one true God. We're the only ones that's going to have the understanding of the one true God. Read. Say of the Lord. Go ahead. And my servants. And my servants. So we just read that the children of Israel was God's servants. So who are the ones that's going to know what the, what the true image of God is and who the true God is? The children of Israel. So let's get Revelation chapter 1 now. Let's deal with Jesus Christ for a second. Because for some reason, our people, Jesus Christ has been painted as a so-called white man all this time. But then when we ask our people, how you doing, bro? What's your name? Trey. What color is the Jesus Christ, Trey? Black. He's black, right? So why do we accept that white image of Jesus Christ? Or then when we say Jesus Christ is black, they say it doesn't matter. Nobody cares. Yeah. The so-called white man cared. That's why they painted him white. Yeah. Think about it. Now, let's get the true image of Jesus Christ. Revelation 1, verse 1. Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. This is the revealing of Jesus Christ to the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans. That's the right. witnesses of the Most High God. Right. God's chosen people, read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. Uh-huh. Things which must shortly come to pass. He show unto his servants. Now, Jose, we just mentioned who the servants were, right? Who are God's servants, Jose? The children of Israel are God's servants, the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are the servants of God. We are the true servants of God. Right. And he read verse 1 again. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. Read. Which God gave unto him. To show unto his servants. To show. The revealing of Jesus Christ is only to show unto his servants. We are only, the, the true image of Jesus Christ is going to be revealed to the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. No one else. That's why this was written. Read. To show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Read on. And he sent and sanctified it by his servant. You're going to get color right now. Get unto his servant John. All right, Trey. Verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Now, the, the Bible says that Jesus Christ's head and his hairs were white like wool. Bring it out. What people have woolly hair on the earth today? Trey? Black people, Black people right? What about you, Jose? It's kind of like, uh, like, kind of uh, like white people's hair, like, like I mean, black. Oh, you say, you say woolly hair is like no, white people's no, hair? No, no, no. The hair that my people have is, is uh, it, well, stringy, stringy hair. Some of your people yeah. have stringy hair. A lot of, a lot of curly. Yeah. We understand a lot of the Aztecs, yeah. though, yeah, they were dark-skinned people, yeah. and they had woolly hair yeah. as well. Yeah. Don't right. get it confused yeah, yeah. with the image that the so-called white now, man puts out there. Um, now, now it's a, but, it's um, a lot of mix. Mexicans are really Indians that got ran from the nation to where we knew of. Right, and Mexicans yeah. are the, are the, are the, the 12 tribe. They, they, they're part of they, yeah, what you would call the Native Americans, just a different yeah. tribe. Yeah. The same people. Yeah. But read on. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Go ahead. As white as snow. As white as snow. So that image that we have of Jesus Christ on this flyer here, the so-called white man. If if that was truly the image of Christ, and the so-called white man really cared about bringing you the truth, why in the world would they paint the image like this man right here? Why would you get the image of Caesar Borgia? A so-called, a, a, not a so-called, a demon. A demon. Why would they give you that image when it says his hair is white like wool? That image doesn't have woolly hair. Read on. As white as snow. Go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. This image doesn't have red eyes. He says his eye, Jesus Christ's eyes were as a flame of fire. Why? Because he drank wine in moderation. That's in Genesis 49 verse 12. Read on. And his feet. And his feet. Here's the point, Trey. And his feet was what? Like unto fine brass. It says like unto fine brass. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. When you burn brass in a furnace, what color does it turn out, Trey? It turns out your color, right? 
When you burn bread, so what color was Jesus Christ? He was a dark skinned man. That's so right. what we gotta do now. We gotta ask ourselves first and foremost, if Jesus, if the Bible writes that Jesus Christ is a dark skinned man, and we're told that color of Jesus Christ doesn't matter, why in the world would they, they change the image of Jesus Christ to look like themselves? Why would they do that, Jose? Because they want you to worship them as God and see your own brothers as the enemy. Right. You understand that? And that's that image right there is the main cause of our self-hatred as a people, of black on black crime, and the reason why we don't know who we are today. The book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 16. Go ahead. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit. So it says the spirit itself bears witness. It reveals itself. We we identify ourselves with the spirit. So what is the spirit? That is talking about that, that we will identify with. Get John 6 and 63. And as, as you can see, Jose, we're reading the Bible precept uh -huh. upon precept, right? Because uh -huh. that's how we get the understanding. So when we say spirit, we got to find out what the spirit is. Read. The book of John chapter 6, verse 63. Go ahead. It is the spirit that quickens. It's the spirit that changes. It's the spirit that quickens. Go ahead. The flesh profit of nothing. Go ahead. The words that I speak unto you. Jesus Christ says the words that he speaks unto us is what? They are spirit. He says they are spirit, read. And they are life. And they are life unto us. So the spirit, now go back to Romans 8 and 16. Read. Bring it up. Romans chapter 8, verse 16. Go ahead. The spirit itself. The spirit, the words that are written in this Bible here. Read. Beareth witness with our spirit. We identify with the words written that we are what? That we yes, are. That we, the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans are what? The children of God. You are God's chosen people. No more would you identify yourself as a Mexican. You identify yourself as an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar after hearing this word. That's that right. Gonna bear witness with, that you're going to bear witness to in this Bible here. Bring it up. So reading your Bible is very important. Now get Deuteronomy 28. How do we know that the Mexicans are part of the children of Israel? Along with the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans, right? Give me that Deuteronomy 28. 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Go ahead. But it shall come to pass. Go ahead. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses is speaking unto the children of Israel after they came out of Egypt. He's in the wilderness now. We made a covenant with, with the Most High God saying that we will keep your laws, statutes, and commandments, Lord. And the Most High God said he'll set us on high. We said we will do everything that you tell us to do. But Moses said it's going to come to pass that we're not going to do those things. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. Go ahead. And his statute, which I command thee this day. Go ahead. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Said, all these curses are going to come upon the children of Israel and overtake them. Give me sign and wonder. And what's the purpose of these curses now? What are these curses going to do? Read. Bring it out. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. Go ahead. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. The curses are going to be upon thee for a sign. Let me use that cross for example. When you see people with that cross, what does that show? Uh, I mean, some people wear it for luxury or, or, or whatever. I wear it uh, just of a, a remembrance. You know, but like, normally when you see a cross, you think of Christianity. Yeah. Christianity. Right? That's a sign. When you see that sign, Sumter Street or Laurel Street, how do we know that this is Sumter Street? When I see a, a cross on somebody, I... I, I uh, uh, I, I don't think about Christianity. I, I think about God. You, know, like, you think about God? God yeah, God, 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 God. We're going to deal with that cross in yeah. a second. Then, yeah. Because that image on your cross, you mind if I touch your cross? No, go ahead. I don't want no, no, no That image that's on your cross right there, that's so-called white Jesus on that uh -huh. cross. You understand? Uh -huh. You understand that, right? Yeah. So when you wear that, that's who you represent. Yeah. You're representing the false image of Jesus Christ on that cross. Yeah. So why would you want to represent yeah. a lie? We just showed you the color of Christ, right? Yeah. So why would you want to represent a lie now? It probably is better, better not to get anything out there. The most I, I going to tell you how to deal with that in a second, but let's deal with you being in Sikar first. It says these curses are going to be upon thee for a sign. A sign identifies who people are, right? Uh -huh. And for a wonder. Once you figure out that these people are children, you're going to wonder. It's a wonder. It's crazy. Like, look at the state of our people. Are these really the children of God? Damn, that's crazy, the state of our people, but these are God's chosen people. Strung out on drugs. Right. Drug dealing to their people. Hating themselves. Our women destroying their whole natural look. Bring it up. Hating the image that, that the most high God put on them. 
It's a wonder to see our people and how we're moving today. And upon thy seed forever. Upon thy seed forever. So what happened? Let me ask you a question about a little bit of history. When the so-called white man came over here, what did he do? He took over the land, right? Give me Deuteronomy 28 verse 49. Deuteronomy chapter. I'm gonna ask you if this really happened, if this happened to your people. Because again, now the spirit bears witness with our spirit, right? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 49. Go ahead. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. The most high God sent a nation against the children of Israel from afar. Read. From one end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flies. As swift as the eagle flies. So the most high God's gonna send a nation against the children of Israel that identifies themselves as the eagle. You got to fly it, brother? As the eagle. What nation identifies themselves as the eagle today? Bring it out. Open your flyer up, uh, Jose. If you open your flyer up, when you look at the back of a quarter, that's an eagle, right? Mm -hmm. When you look at the Roman Empire, this symbol was the eagle. Mm -hmm. When you look at the Greek Empire, this symbol was the eagle. That's the same people today. But it's read it again. The Lord shall bring a nation from far against thee. Read it right. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. Moses said, as a sign, the Most High is going to bring a nation against the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. A nation from afar as, that represents themselves as what? From the end of the earth, Go ahead. as swift as the eagle flies. As swift as the eagle flies. So with the so-called blacks, they were over there on the west coast of Africa. But guess who where the Native Americans were? They were right here on this land first. Christopher Columbus didn't discover this place. Free. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. When the so-called white man came over there to the west coast of Africa and over here in 1492, did we understand his language? No, because he spoke a different dialogue. Bring it he spoke up. Portuguese. He spoke Latin. He spoke French. He spoke those languages, right? We didn't understand that. Read. A nation of fierce continents. These were some fierce bastards that sat here raped robbed and murdered murdered your your mothers your sisters your fathers when they came over on this land they didn't come over here and share this land with anyone they came over here with the sole purpose of to go ahead infiltrate and destroy everyone here and take this land over how y'all doing today y'all gotta fly it but going over our history today that's in written in the bible how you doing sis i'm doing all right you need, you need one of them flies. yes ma'am get on a nation of fifth continent which shall not regard the person of the old. That nation did not regard the person of the old. A nation of fifth continent. A nation of it takes a soulless person. It takes the most demonic and evil force to be able to sit there and take a baby and just stomp on his head. To take a pregnant woman, cut her stomach open, the baby fall out and stomp on his head. Bring it out. Or you take a baby, grab him by the foot, and bash their head up against the stone. It takes a fierce, soulless animal to do something like that. You understand that, Jose? Did that not happen to your people? Read on. Which shall not regard the person of the old, Go ahead. nor show favor to the young. It's not going to show favor to the young at all. Read. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle. He's going to do what? Eat the fruit of thy cattle. When the so-called white man came over to America and the west coast of Africa, we had cattle, right? Did he not eat the fruit of our cattle? What happened to all the buffaloes here on this land? He took it. It's your cattle. Yeah. Bring it, it was up. our cattle. Read That's it again. right. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle. He shall eat the fruit of your cattle. It wasn't theirs. They came over on a boat and landed here and took all of your resources, Jose. Free. And the fruit of thy land. And the fruit of your land. This is your land today. Or the oil, the corn, the cotton, the sugar. All the different resources that's grown on this land here. Right. That man is benefiting off of it and it's not even his land. Let me ask you a question, Jose. Did that happen to your people? Yeah. Is it still happening to your people? Yeah, you can't even come in the country right. Your people can't even come in. They're trying to build a damn wall yeah. to stop you from coming and they're separating your families. Read on. Until thou be destroyed. Until you be completely destroyed as a people. I get verse 48. Verse 48. Go ahead. Therefore shall thy serve thine enemy. The Most High God said, because we went away from the word of God, we're going to serve our enemies now. So we're going to identify who our enemies are then. Read. 
which the Lord shall send against us. He said the Most High God sent that nation against us. Right, Jose? Free. In hunger. In hunger. So when we need food now, who do we go to? When, when, when you need food and you go to the grocery store, who owns that store? The so-called white man does. I mean, we can't, we can't miss words now, right? Hey, check your flying around, Jose. And understand that you are the children of Israel according to the Bible. So reading your, read your Bible, check your flying around, okay? We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.